I bring you greetings to everyone, both in Nigeria and the diaspora. In the name of God Almighty. I vow this will be for a few moments. Often time when these things happen, we simply have to go through the process, process of trusting God. Even when we don't understand why sometimes we feel inadequate because we ask ourselves, I've done everything more in some cases we've done our best if we can keep our mind stayed on each other with hope for the future because we trust to build a better nation where we can make our children culture our motherland and our people our freedom our generation our democracy Hope is being able to see that there is a light despite all the darkness. There was never a night or a problem that could defeat the sunrise. This is our hope. Let your hope not be hot. Let's shape the future. Let not your heart be troubled. Put away your bitterness. Pain, rejection, discrimination, anger. Know that we are hot. Our prayers are with God. And your family that lost and your loved ones that you lost. For the Lord has declared healing to come and comfort in peace with Nigeria's situation. There is one thing I would dare not tell you. To not do my fellow good Nigerians and that is not to cry I feel angry with the faith government system of our blessed country with all the evil done to our land by the evil government remember the shortest verse in Bible John 11 and 35, Jesus wept. Tears are part of our healing process towards our feelings and our emotions. Sometimes grief will leave us numb in sorrows and mysteries, spirits of heaviness and even sadness. Sometimes distress and agony even torment our anger and loneliness and sometimes guilt sometimes shocked us but definitely pain feel loose of helplessness which leave us in a state what we want you to understand is there is hope after the rain the sun we will rise again arise your light has come for the glory of the Lord has risen upon the country. I think it is a mistake to ever look for hope. Inside of every self, the very last you can do in your life is to figure out what you're hopeful. And the most you can do is live inside that hope. Not admire it from a distance, but live right in it. I could be anywhere to everywhere the memories or our pains strive to come back. But there is an answer and there is a solution. Let's embrace one another. Let's embrace one another. Let's embrace one another. Let's embrace one another. From the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. 
because we can win when we agree together. God has called us his people to live in unity with one another. So it is important to make every effort to live together in harmony with everyone, regardless of your belief and differences, because unity inspires hope for the future. Yes, a time of moment it is now with Nigeria, stress and stain strain relationship. And we want to end up hurting one another. For our hope in the name of God, in whom we have our trust. Jesus said in John 14, To let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. And while we might not understand the process, one thing is hope for the future. In spite of our differences, let us be willing to stand strong together and live out of the days of compassion, not that we don't know this government has inflicted on us. But because we are willing to make difference in this land, giving up is not an option because it is exactly what the bad government want. And we're not going to stand up for that. We're going to stand up for courage. We're going to fight for freedom, our freedom, our nation, and our democracy. And by the grace of God, we're going to overcome the one thing that is important to do is to pour out our heart of pain and mend them away and see clearly to the future. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of God, that all of us should agree with one another and we call for a one voice with no division, but perfectly united in mind and in thought. We shall rejoice as we strive fully for restoration in one mind and we will live and rejoice in that peace. For God says, I will keep you in perfect peace. It might not feel like it is going to work for your good. It might not feel now it is good time. He won't discuss it. Trust me, the process Trust the time of God, and I know that time is now that you can be honest to yourself and see inwardly that this call is your responsibility. It is your responsibility. Look inward yourself, and you will find out that this call is your responsibility. I speak wisdom, I speak peace. And I want you to know that you are not in this situation by yourself. But at the end of the day, God still is in control. Actually, let's heal our hearts, heal our emotions, and come together in love and unity. And let them never forget the positive memory, the life lessons, the nugget of wisdom. God is always near in our domain when our heart is broken. Honestly, if you're upset, say it to God. If you're frustrated or rejected, say it to God. If you're hurt, just go tell it to God. Tell him about it. It is part of the healing process. Things you have to do is understand. Accept what has happened when it's totally out of control. You have the trust in the future. When you cannot trace the future, then ask God to heal you of your pain and keep this positive memory of whom you lost or you are in your mind. Love is stronger than death. Death does not love. Embrace what God has already said about you. 
knowing that he is in total control of this situation. There is a way that you can get over your grief. That is one thing that is important. To pour it out, your pain, melt it away and clearly look up to the future. Let's care for one another. Sometimes we need to be carried. Sometimes we led great shepherd. And sometimes it might not feel like God is with us. But it's right there with us. Even when we skews that pillow, even when tears might not be coming from your eye, your face and your eyes. But most of all, I want God. And I know God has healed those tears and heart from the deepest part of your heart and your soul that inches you has been healed. We will come together today to touch every heart and family that have experienced losses. That has experienced pain, heaviness, anxiety, distress, and loneliness. This moment in this season will help us during this time of our weakness that has overwhelmed and broke us. We don't want to be torn away. We want to lift up our eyes and our strength and wisdom because the Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. We are asking you to station your mind around the future as I speak. What will not overtake the fact that you are still in control? I speak again. What cannot overtake the fact is that you listening to me, you that youth of Nigeria, you, that future, that born citizen of Nigeria, you are still in control. In control to elect someone. In control to elect someone to lead, to rule over the citizens of Nigeria. It is your responsibility. It is your responsibility. It is your responsibility. I call on every youth listening to me. It is your responsibility. God bless you. God bless you.